What is going on you guys? It's Boosted J. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sh uh, showing you guys how to install E30 gauge cluster rings. So those are the rings that are going to go right in there. Right in there. They'll be chrome or black, whatever you guys choose. And you can buy these from CA Tuned. If you're an E30 owner, you should know what CA Tuned is by now. If you don't, that's all good. But basically, they're little trim rings that go inside the gauge cluster in here and uh, they make it uh, look a lot more modern and just a whole lot better so I'm going to show you guys how to take apart all of this get it out and install those gauge rings once you've got all your tools assembled you're going to take a look at the dash and the, uh, there are a few points here so you've got one screw right here Phillips another one here and then one more right there on this side right there where this little hole is so you've got three Phillips screws holding this bottom panel down and underneath here, let's see. You've got one bolt right there, another one there, and then one more right there. So three bolts holding this bottom panel down. And those you will use the quarter drive with the eight mil uh, socket. So after that's said and done, I'll show you guys the next step. the bottom piece and put it have put it off to the side like I have now bef now I have showed you the clip well you will see the clip where you remove the two screws right here that hold in the um, the trim piece in the gauge you're gonna go under here now I'll put the camera right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about so basically you're gonna go up under here put your hand right right here so basically right where this is right here you're gonna put your hand up under here and you're gonna find this little round bolt and you're gonna have two of them that you're gonna have to remove so obviously uh, it is a different pattern so you basically want to twist it in this direction so from like this since you're doing it reverse and so once you take it off your trim piece, your secondary trim piece will be loose and this is what the bolt looks like right here. It's just a little bolt like this and you're gonna have two of them. Your next one is gonna be in the same exact spot but right under here. Now with mine you can see how I'm pushing it it would be right there there's a little thread. I lost my bolt I dropped it and it fell all the way down in this little crack here and I haven't gotten it since but you're gonna want to make sure you don't do that because then your trim will be a little bit loose and sit weird and it won't sit flush so that's one thing you want to be careful with so now that you've got that those two bolts out of the way now you're gonna want to come up here see if I can get the light to stay come up here and get the piece that you just loosened up and lift it out slowly careful because it's you know brittle plastic and old and you can see the two threads one right there and one right there where the two bolts sit these two bolts so now that you're done with this put this off to the side and get your corresponding two bolts remember not just one but two bolts and put that off to the side as well now that you've got that done you remove the two bolts that are up here the trim piece out it exposes the gauge cluster and all its glory and the wires so right here on the left side you're gonna have one Phillips bolt here mine is a little loose so I'm gonna have to tighten that back down and then you're gonna have one exactly on the opposite side and then once you get those two off I'm gonna show you guys how to pull 
the cluster out without removing the steering wheel. Very simple process. So the camera's in a little bit of an awkward place, but now that you've got the two bolts removed here and here, you're gonna wanna push down on those tabs and pull forward. You can also get in these two little holes right there and just wiggle your way forward. Push down on the bottom a little bit, pull these tabs down, push it back a little bit, and pull forward until you've got it like that. And now, back in behind, you've got a few tabs of wires, and I'll show you guys those right now. Here you've got your first tab, and you've got a little bit of a black clip right there. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a flathead screwdriver, just gently, not rough or anything. Boom, just like that. You see how it's standing up? So now remember where these, these uh, uh, clips go. So now that you've got the black tab up, you're gonna wanna pull up on the entire white pin. So basically, just go ahead and, this is very difficult with one hand, but I'm gonna try to do it anyways. Bring it up, wiggle it around. Boom, that's out. So you also have a green one that needs to be removed. And then on the right side, you have a blue clip. So this, repeat the process, there's a little bit of a black little pin there, or a little clip type thing, and you just wanna get right up under it. And boom, it's up. Terrible filming, but you got that one up. And then the green one does not have a black clip, you just simply pull it off. So once you do that, your gauge cluster is ready to come out of the dash. the cluster out, I'm gonna show you guys what exactly you had to uh, uh, connect and disconnect. So you've got a blue clip over here, a yellow one, and then the white one. I showed you the yellow one, I showed you the blue one, I totally forgot about the yellow. And then you've got over here, two little ports on this side, let me zoom in on that. Two little electrical cables that plug in on the, the, right, the right side, and then you've got two little electrical cables right here that plug in on the left side. And this is what they look like, they're two little little things like this and you'll definitely know where they correspond to then you've also got this one black little port like this only if you have an auto you should have this and it goes right in here and plugs into the little green clip and after that you've got the gauge out and I'm gonna show you guys how to disassemble this and install the chrome gauge rings all right now that you guys got your gauge cluster apart I recommend taking it to your desk or whatever whatever area you feel is safest for it. So now you've got two screws right here, one right here, one right here, a uh, hex bolt right here, one right here, one right here, and then same thing on this side, another hex bolt here, another screw here, and another screw here. Now once you get all those removed, you, can, you are able to remove the backing off of the entire housing of the gauge cluster. So let's start off at the top and work our way around. Now you do not need to worry about these bolts here. Those are unimportant and will do you no good to take those off just yet. So once you get those top two, work your way around all the way until you got all of them out. You've got this apart. Now you can just push on the plastic from the inside out. Now honestly, I really don't think it's necessary for you to remove the old gauge cluster, but I just took it apart just in case because I've never done this myself either. But if you are replacing your gears for your uh, odometer, this is the perfect time to do so because they're located right here and I've already changed mine. And sorry, I won't be making a video on that because I already changed mine and I just don't want to go through the trouble of taking mine apart again. 
this plastic piece is glued all around and you just want to start maybe get a pry tool but just lift around slowly until the glue seal breaks loose like so but careful not to flex the plastic too much just in case it decides to give way and snap but basically once you've got that all done your plastic piece comes off like just like this and this gives you an opportunity to clean it up with some glass cleaner although it's plastic but it will still get nice and sharp now get your trim rings and put them into place just like that they in place that way you won't have any issues with these popping out this one put this one into place and get your last but not least and put that into place there this one's a little bit loose but this should just go right in as well like that now this one is a little loose so you, what you can do is just to test turn it upside down make sure these don't come out and if they do come out then you can just use a bit of super glue to make sure they stay in place and never come out while you're driving so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna super glue this one in place and do this one as well and if you don't want to super glue you don't have to you can make a little modification to it and just put like a little adhesive over here and just lock it into place that way if you want to go back to the original look you sure can without any hassle but this I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem with if it's especially spinning in the car and I can definitely see that happening so that is not something I want but I will make my adjustments and go from there everything else is good only one that falls out is that one so after that all you got to do is the same process as this assembly and I'll show you guys the finished product once this gauge is back inside the car so guys now that you've installed reinstalled your gauge cluster with the new gauge rings this is what it'll look like every time you hop into the car get a little light here look at that now sorry the lighting is not the greatest but it looks so dang good and I'll give you guys a better shot of it with nice lighting basically here it is with a way high exposure if I drop it down and give you guys a nice light right there it'll just make your dash look so much better so here's another better shot of it with the new gauge cluster rings from CA tune no this is not sponsored but they are one of the greatest companies I've ever dealt with. They are so helpful. Uh, information full of anything you need for E30s. And i first company to go to if you need anything from them. Or just any questions and help. But now let me get my head out of the way. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a better view with some bright light. And this little shadow is obviously from the steering wheel. But it looks so great honestly one of the best pieces you can do to the interior of e30 just amazing amazing quality love it anyways guys thanks for watching i'm boost j see you guys in the next one peace